uh, I want to do in our last few minutes here, I want to do a little uh, activity. And so one of the tools, and so we, I want to do this activity together. So this is one I don't want you guys to do on your own. I want to do this as a class. So, okay, so, um, so we have all kinds of cool tools. We'll be exploring all kinds of cool tools. One of the tools you guys all have and, and have been, probably most of you have been playing with, are things like chat GPT and all that kind of good stuff. And so we have a specific policy in our class about how to use stuff. So I, I, I do not say you cannot use chat GPT. Uh, or similar types of tools when you're working on write-ups and things of that nature. Um, but you, we need to use them appropriately. And so our general philosophy is that, um, you know, you shouldn't be using this to write your assignments, but you can use them in other ways to make your writing better and all that kind of stuff, and that's cool. But we need to treat ChatGPT like everything else. So when you guys do a write-up for me, you do an analysis, you do a this or that, we always cite our references. And that's cool. That's not bad. That's good. So, so um, you know, I read this and or I got this from Dr. A's lecture. I read this from this this paper. I read it. You know, I saw this in this news story. Cite everything. We you guys need to get in this culture of of attribution and and where did I get that information from, etc. And that's especially true. Just like like Izzy's question, just right there. Hey, so and maybe maybe we'll do an assignment on that, which might be a, a fun one to do in a couple weeks. Which is let's see if we can track that down, right? And so. So we need to cite our sources. So if there is some question or some contrary, we can go back. If somebody says, oh my gosh, this is happening, maybe, I'm, maybe Dr. A is totally wrong. Let me see it. Let me, let me go track to the source and let me show me the, the evidence that, that this is happening, right? And so, and so that's how we're going to use ChatGPT. So um, the first, uh, first example here is I've, I've done this for you. And so, and so I took a prompt into ChatGPT and I, I, I put this prompt in. So I said, um, hey, pretending I, I made this assignment for you guys. Hey, quantify the cost to people, infrastructure, and animals of California wildfires. I first said in, in 2023, but ChatGPT says, I don't have any recent information. So, so I picked a, a, a previous year, right? So, so quantify the cost of people, infrastructure, and animals of California wildfires in 2017. Include in-text citations and a literature cited section, right? That sounds good. Like, hey, this can maybe help me with my, with my stuff. This is what came out. So, you guys have a read of that, and then I'm gonna ask you what you think about it after. Okay, what do we think? That's trash. Well, so why, why, do you, why do you say it's trash? There's no number, there's no information. So the, so the, the prompt was quantify, right? Give, give me numbers, give me, give me values for what happened. Okay, so yeah, so first it didn't follow the prompt. Okay, good. What else? And, or anything else? Right, right. So like what I was saying, there, there's no, there's no, uh, you know, statement and then source of why I say that statement. And then another statement, source of why I say that statement. So, so that's like not really existing. Okay, good. Other, other observations? Yeah, and then it says kind of like, have you? Like, right? You're like, hey, give me some answers. Like, why don't you do some answers, right? So, um, so uh, uh, it's better than in previous years. So last year, it just made up shit. So last year, there was just random numbers and stuff associated with it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so it didn't really do what I asked it to do, right? Um, and then uh, just because we're tight for time here, uh, or uh, sorry, other, other comments or other thoughts about that? Okay, so, um, but, um, but still amazing, right? It's like, oh my God, I just typed in some random words and it made this stuff, which is pretty crazy. Um, so, so it is very powerful and alluring and it's very tempting to use this tool to like do some, you know, quote unquote, real writing or whatever. Um, the other thing I'll just say is that the literature cited is weird. For example, if you, and this happens almost all the time, if you, if you grab this, and you guys can't because you're over there, but if you grab this, um, National Interagency Fire Center, it comes up as a 404. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't know where it is. And so, so that, that is oftentimes the case. The references are often made up just like the, just like the text is made up. Um, so um, you guys get the point. It's, it's, it's useful, but just throwing a prompt in is almost 
assuredly going to lead you astray. So don't do that. But but there are some really useful tools for this. So I, I don't want to be one of these, you know, ostriches that says like, don't use ChatGPT, right? But we want to use it appropriately, right? Not for the creative stuff, not for your knowledge stuff, but for improving what we do. So to do that, um, everybody, uh, I want everybody to have, uh, to take a, take a second here. And so open up your computer. We're going to do, we're almost out of time. So we'll do a really quick, uh, maybe we'll do like a three minute. Maybe we'll do a three minute now. So just open up Word or, or, or uh, 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 Google Docs, anything you can write. And we're just going to do a free writing thing. Okay, so here's my prompt. My prompt is I want you guys to write about the impacts of wildfires on Ventura County over the last decade. So I know you haven't read, I haven't given you any, really any readings about that. I know this and that. But you guys all have heard something about something. I don't care how much you know or don't know. I'm going to start my timer, and when I start my timer, you just start writing. So everybody get ready, get your stuff ready, and again, your prompt is to just talk about wildfires in Ventura County over the last decade, any aspect of that that you want to talk about. Okay. Um, ready, where's my timer? Ready, set, start typing. And stop. Okay, cool. All right. So uh, have a look at what. Just take, take a second and and, and and sort of scan the the thing you wrote, right? So um, so this is a really useful technique, especially when you guys are like, oh my god, Dr. Admins, do this thing, and I don't have any time. Just you, you always have this as an option, right? Sometimes we need we we sit there and we think for so long. I had this one one of my. PhD advisors was one of these guys that would, would sit for like a day or two just quietly at his, his computer like waiting, 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 and then he'd go, ah, okay. And then he'd write his paper from like start to finish almost perfectly. He was a freak, he was weird. He liked, he liked punk and ballet, he was very weird. Um, uh, and he's British. Uh, so, um, so he's a freak. Everybody else I know in the world, that's not how they write. We write something and then edit it, do something, revise it, revise it, revise it. And so if you guys ever have a thing for me or somebody else and you're like, oh, I just don't know, I don't know, I don't, da, da, da. screw it, just do a free write. Just do a five minute, 10 minute, just start barfing out some stuff, right? And, and as a first step. And a lot of times that will really help get going. And so one of the useful tool, one of the useful things I think that ChatGPT can help us with is help us with that organizing and helping, helping us tighten up our language. So, um, we're probably going to run out of time now, but, but um, what I'd like you guys to do is uh, open up ChatGPT. If you don't have an account, you need to create a free account. But um, rather than, than putting the prompt in, right, you have some stuff that you've started with, and I want you to put this in. So, so um, say, type in exactly, please remove redundant words and phrases from the following passage and make it coherent and cohesive. And then, you know, carriage return and then insert the stuff that you guys um, uh, uh, wrote. And then say go. Anybody get an answer yet? So. Uh, right. What, 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 so, so tell me what, how, how does how does the Chat GPT version compare to your version? Um, it's they changed. They they shortened it a little bit. Okay. Um, and then they took out a lot of redundant phrases. Okay. And um, they added in some new vocabulary. Okay. So do you think it reads better? I think so. Okay. Cool. Cool. How about somebody else? Well, tell me, Jonathan, tell me about your. I would say the same thing. Like uh, it reads a bit better, and they kept it around the same length. Kind of like the same main points in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Anybody else? How about how about um, style? So so um, uh, does it still sound like you wrote it? They kind of took on the state of the AI style of like listing things by comma, which is my writing, and like put it into its standard like format. But it still sounds the same. So. Okay, okay, cool. Anybody else? Does, does it still sound like you? It made it a bit more formal. Okay. 
So, so I'd say those are the two, those are the most common things that I hear that, that yeah, it does, it does clean up my, so my grammar, it does, it does, you know, um, make it tighter, you know, make it more, more um, succinct, right? Um, but that it, it's, it makes it a bit more generic-y, makes it a bit more like my voice, it doesn't really come through or, or how I tend to phrase things or how I tend to look at things. It's kind of more, um, you know, vanilla-y. Um, kind of generic-y kind of stuff. So cool. Um, okay, so I will, uh, we're just about out of time. So I'll, I'll um, make an assignment for that and just, and so the assignment will just be, give me your, your text of your three minute free write and then give me what came out of ChatGPT and then have you guys just do like two or three sentences, you know, tell me what you think about that. Like, you know, was it, was it a helpful thing? Was it not helpful? You know, da, da, da. So again, um, when we do stuff, uh, we're, not, we're not Luddites here. We get that this is a, this is a useful tool, but I wanna make sure you guys are, just like, just like we're gonna be working on graphing and those other key skills, um, do not be stupid and sloppy and do not expect this to do the heavy lifting for you. It's very powerful, it's really helpful, but you, just like I need you guys to develop your, your quantitative skills and your graphing and how we communicate, you guys also need to be working on writing and stuff. And so these tools can help us with our writing. Do not fall in the trap of thinking that they will replace our writing. And again, um, if you did a little thing, like ran a sentence through ChatGPT to like clean it up, whatever, that's cool. But anything substantial, you just would cite that, just like we did something else and say, oh yeah, and so this, and this whatever summary or whatever I did was done with ChatGPT 3.5 or whatever, right? Cool, and then, and then we're all good. And then we're all being fair and, and cool.